Hello, it's Jeff. Hey Jeff, my name is uh, my name's John. Call in to hopefully set something up to send my block out to you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Just whenever you're ready, follow the shipping instructions on the website and box it up safely and send it in. All right, that's all there is to it. All right, so that was Jeff from CSS. Hopefully you guys were able to hear yourselves, but I'm gonna be getting this block ready today to go to CSS. I thought that maybe I had to call him to like set something up and like arrange everything in terms of shipping and like when I have to send it and everything like that. But turns out I can just send it out there and he'll do it and send it right back. So I'm really excited to have this done and start working with CSS. If you guys saw my last video, you will have seen that I disassembled the entire motor to get it ready for CSS, or I guess to get it ready to be rebuilt. Today, we're going to be completely finishing that off, cleaning it, getting it ready to go, taking off all the sensors, and it will just be a bare block when I'm done with it today so that I can go ahead and send it out to CSS. First thing I gotta do, like I said, is clean it. So I don't wanna take out the sensors yet. I don't want water going to all the oil passages and everything like that. I'm gonna do my best to keep it out of these cylinders. But we gotta clean the block really quick, and then I can go ahead and remove all the accessories. All right, now fortunately, my stepdad let me borrow his power washer as you guys have seen in the past couple videos. This thing has come in so handy and if you guys are gonna do a project like I'm doing, I suggest you invest in one or borrow one because they are awesome. Dude, I got blasted. I got absolutely drenched. That was dumb. I, I don't know, this side was so annoying to clean. But uh, here it is. So it's a lot better now, still a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna just run with it. Not bad. Now I just gotta quickly remove the accessory stuff from the outside, dry it off, and then she's ready to go. So this block is ready to go out to CSS, the CNC works to get the cylinder support system, which this is a little bit of a confusion that a lot of people have. The company is called CNC works and the product is called CSS, cylinder support system. The thing that they put in the deck of your block is the cylinder support system. That's the product, not the company, just a heads up. At least that's how I understand it from looking at their website. Seventeen, sixteen, and eleven. Seventeen, sixteen, eleven. Huh. I need to weigh it. Oh, Fifty pounds is my guess. Let's go see. 175.0. Alright, now let's get this block in here and see what happens. So I was 175.0. Let's see what we got with the block. Wait. Oh. I don't know. 33 pounds, that's it? Am I wrong? I was, did I did I do something wrong? All right, so the scale was not reading accurately the first time. I redid it and we found out the block weighs 50.4 pounds. So I'm just gonna round it up to 51 pounds. And now I have the dimensions. Now I'm gonna call the UPS store and figure out what we can do in terms of shipping. I don't know if it's going to. 
was able to package it up pretty well for the most part. It is bulging a little bit on the top, so I hope that they'll still ship it like this. We'll find out, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to UPS and get her shipped, and then I will see you guys when I get the block back from CSS. Oh my god, how do you get it out? Oh baby. Yo, <laughs> that's so sick. Look at it. Oh man. Definitely oil, a lot of oil going on. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Whew. Wow. That packaging is no joke. Oh, the little CSS in there, so cool. You're this out of is the, You're gonna be a movie star. This is the SSR modification. It's quite important. What this? CSS. CSS. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Honda guy. Where did he go? <laughs> 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 gentlemen so here it is here's my block that is now capable of about 700 horsepower <laughs> that is that is one of the most ridiculous things that I've probably said out loud or I guess come to realize is that you know when CSS does this mod they technically guarantee it up to like 500 horsepower but people easily make like 700 horsepower just with this mod pretty ridiculous pretty exciting and be honest this is kind of where things start to get a little bit uh, freaky but that's not what this video is about this video is strictly about getting CSS done to this block and uh, showing it to you guys and what you can expect I'm really excited because all these little like machined out spots right here I've seen like older versions of CSS and it looked like they didn't have this and for two reasons I'm really happy that mine does it looks really cool and also I have a feeling it will be a little bit better at cooling. That's really good, that's a nice improvement. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something new. I hope that if you have any questions about CSS and Cylinder Support System and CNC Works, whatever, you'll leave it in the comments down below because I've been doing a lot of research to try to figure things out. I don't know why I keep playing with this thing. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Also, if you like this video, please click that subscribe button. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'll be giving away an entire year of YouTube revenue in like October or something. Um, and you can only win if you're subscribed. So click that subscribe button, get a chance to win an entire year of YouTube revenue. And that's really all there is. So as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals by coming in for that long shot.